salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Salamu alaykum ya Ali Madad. Tonight is my fourth lecture of the series of the companions of Imam Ali. On last Tuesday, if you remember, we spoke about Sasa ibn Suhan. But tonight, we will discuss about his brother, who is Zaid ibn Suhan. Zaid ibn Suhan was among the hard bearers of Imam Ali, who invited the people of Kufa to support Imam Ali in the battles. In the battle, he was actually the flag holder of the tribe of Abdul Qais, and he was also murdered in a battle. Some sources mention him as the companion of the Rasul, the companion of the Prophet. Zaid ibn Suhan was among the martyrdoms that took place in the battle of Jamal. Zaid ibn Suhan was murdered in the battle of Jamal among some other companions of Imam Ali. But now, let's give a brief introduction about Zaid ibn Suhan and his status. Let's begin by Zaid ibn Suhan when he was in Kufa. Zaid ibn Suhan was among the people of Kufa who were exiled to Syria by the orders of Usman, who was the third caliph of the Muslim Ummah. However, because of his very important conversation he had with Muawiyah, he was allowed to return all the way to Kufa. Zaid was actually among the companions of Imam Ali and transmitted hadiths from Imam Ali. About Zaid, Imam Ali said, O oh Zaid, God bless you that your costs were low while you were beneficial. This is Imam Ali saying for Zaid ibn Suhan. Before the beginning of the battle of Jamal, in which Zaid ibn Suhan was going to be murdered, there was an argument among those who were from Kufa on whether they should support Imam Ali against Aisha or leave both of them alone and let them do their thing on their own. Zaid was actually among the people who invited the people and told them, join the Haq and join Imam Ali's side. We need to support Imam Ali. Zaid was among the people who told everybody to join the army of Imam Ali. There is a very famous letter Aisha wrote to Zaid. Aisha wrote a letter to Zaid and advised him to go to his house and give up supporting Imam Ali. Aisha says, Zaid, go to your house, stop supporting Imam Ali. And she even ordered him, she literally ordered him to invite the people to give up and support Imam Ali. Aisha ordered Zaid ibn Suhan, stop, just stop supporting Imam Ali, go to your house and tell everybody don't support Imam Ali and leave him. But Zaid, Zaid had very, very love for the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. He did not care what Aisha told him to do. Instead, he ordered people come and support Imam Ali and he continued supporting Imam Ali in the battle of Jamal where later he was murdered. Even with all of that, According to some sources, Aisha became very upset when she heard the news of the martyrdom of Zed, but she became very happy. Aisha became extremely happy when she heard the news of the martyrdom of Zed in the battle of Jamal. But now let's talk about before the martyrdom which occurred in the battle of Jamal. Just a little moments before his martyrdom, Zaid went to Imam Ali, he said, O oh, the master of the faithful, may Allah give you good rewards. Zaid ibn Suhan is saying this to Imam Ali. You know Allah and the Quran. You know Allah and the Quran and your whole spirit is full of Allah. By Allah, I swear that I did not rush to help you out of ignorance. This is what Imam Ali replied to. Basically, Imam Ali is saying, you know, Allah forgives everybody. You know that. And I, and that is why Allah helped you. And helped you come out of the ignorance. Imam Ali replied to Zaid ibn Suhan. Zaid continued and referred to the sermon of Khadir and mentioned it in an argument for his action. Zaid was there and supported the events of Khadir and talked about it. Zaid is considered among the ascetists of his time. He is considered among an ascetist of his time. 
He is also mentioned among the Abdel, which means an expression in Islamic misteems, which refers to the very sincere servant of God. This is what the title Abdel means. Zed practiced fasting most of the days and spent all his night in worship. Zed was murdered in the battle of Jamal. As I have said, Zed was murdered in the battle of Jamal. He made a will that they do not clean the blood off his face. He said, do not clean the blood off my face. Do not take my clothes off before the burial. Leave me in these clothes full of blood. Do not remove the blood off my face so that when I get waken up on the day of judgment, I will be wearing those clothes. This was the will of Zayd ibn Suhan. Please recite aloud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. If we go near the mosque of Sahla, near the mosque of Sahla, and actually near the mosque of Sasa bin Suhan, there is a mosque called the mosque of Zaid ibn Suhan. As you know, Sasa ibn Suhan and Zaid ibn Suhan are two brothers, which is among the oldest mosques of Kufa. The mosque of Zaid ibn Suhan is one of the oldest mosques we can find in Kufa. It has been repaired and reconstructed several times and in the books of supplications, some practices are recommended to be done over there at the mosque of Zed ibn Suhan. There are some practices told to be performed at the mosque of Zed ibn Suhan. Whenever we get the chance to visit the mosque of Zed ibn Suhan, we should always say two rakats of prayers in the mosque. And then open one hand and recite the supplication recited by Zaid ibn Suhan in his nights and his prayers. This is what we are told to do. These are the actions we are told to do when we are visiting the grave of Zaid ibn Suhan. These are certain practices we are told to do and to recite. I pray to Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And Mawla alayhi salam to give us tawfiq to visit for ziyarat of Karbala and Najaf. So we can visit the mosque of Sahla, which will be the residence of our 12th Imam, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And I pray to Allah that he gives us tawfiq to visit the mosque of Zaid ibn Suhan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. We have concluded tonight's lecture, which was about Zaid ibn Suhan the brother of Sasa ibn Suhan, both of them being very close and a very good companion to Imam Ali alayhi salam. <laughs>